Hello, hi, welcome. Uh, welcome back to Tell Me Why, Chapter 2, this part, which I think is 7. Let's continue, we have to find Tessa. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. <clears throat> I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up. What do I see? A big old bull staring me down. So what do I do? Then I grab my odd six from the trunk and set my sights. You shot it? Yes, sir. Wait, you said you were near Crystal. She's supposed to that way, yeah. Hey, man, when the Lord... Oof. in my truck and a bull tag in my pocket. Who's gonna know the difference? Doesn't make it right. Well, no, I didn't realize I was talking to a damn boy scout. Wow. Uh, I don't like him. Oh, man. I haven't had this cereal in forever. Choco crack. Like crack, but chocolate crack. Stripes candy? Never heard of it. Yeah, no, me neither. It does look quite interesting, though. What am I looking for? Tessa, I believe. This is Michael. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. <sighs> Damn it. Sorry. Will she be back soon? Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. What? No one tells me anything. Okay, is Tom busy? How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows. But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Eh, fair. Okay, thank you. Oh, hey. I don't like how you're glaring at Doing me. Doing some shopping? Uh, I'm looking for Tessa. Just looking for the woman who runs the place? The shopkeeper's wife? Can't say I've seen her around. Uh, about your hunting story. So, I, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not going to report you, but it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah, I'll do that. Hmm... I made an enemy. I made an enemy. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched just because I wanted to get some sleep. This seems drop a bit out, more. I was also scheduled to work at the store today. Michael, Michael, how do you always end up double booked? Because I'm too much of a badass to read a schedule. <laughs> You're gonna work yourself to death, you know. Yeah, well, I can't really turn the money down. A security deposit is gonna be a bitch. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna get my half together. Selling blood's a thing, right? You worried about the house? A little. And I had to turn down an appointment with the only interested buyer we've gotten. Well, girl, you're mm. lucky I'm picking up the extra shifts then. Can I speak to you? Nope, okay. Cool, I'm uh, just mosey on my way to somewhere. It was the office, I'm pretty sure it was the office. It's so quiet, I don't know if I'm being entertaining enough. <laughs> Come in. Yes, that's right, just walk straight through the door, past the sign that says open, and expect the door to open. Yep, that's using your brain, Simmy, that is using your brain. Is it just me, or does the place look... Different. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. 
Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Yeah, I'm trying not to walk directly into rooms anymore because I've cut out a lot of dialogue previously for just doing that while someone else was speaking and um, I don't want to miss anything again. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? You see, this is probably what would have happened if I just walked in immediately. And then I wouldn't have heard that boring information. Uh, okay. Uh, where did your talk sign go? There it is. Okay, I guess. Okay, Alison. I'm gonna. Okay, I guess I have to be behind the desk. Up oh, there we go. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time. But is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. This uh, reported Marianne. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay, good. I can ask the other question, too. Because I was worried that it was going to be a one of two thing. And then I chose the wrong one. Because I am a bit more interested about why she was at the station. Because she was there on the night that Marianne got killed. Um, which is weird. Like, why would... Unless she was the the emergency contact should something happen. However, that doesn't make sense. Because then Officer Brown was telling her that she can't stay. So that would have been the, the better choice to ask for. Why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two, to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Yeah. Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tom, you're clueless. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Uh, we understand that, or we need the truth to heal. We need the truth to heal. Also, I just want the truth. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Don't be late. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? 
It is sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? Well, guess I don't have a choice. To talk to Tessa and she's not here. I was uh, going to. She, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Okay. Listen here, Missy. You and I need a talk. Where'd that question about our father come from? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. Oh, I have to answer. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. It was a weird thing to ask, I guess. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. You won't be alone. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. You sure you're gonna be okay? Yes, so stop hovering. I'm gonna hover one more time. Hey. Okay, I can't hover anymore. Go. Cool. I, ooh, that was very quiet. Where is the storeroom? This is the office. Storeroom. There it is. Alright. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. Okay. I've got this in the back. Oh, yeah? No. Because you're just that good, huh? No, 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 no. Uh, um, um, I'm just clowning. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. Thank you. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. Alright. Go to the back of the room and, uh,. Tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Molto Bene bread got it, Captain. It's bellissimo. What? No. The back of the storeroom. This is the back. Molto Bene brand. Aha. Count. Hold on. Let me count this. Oh no, I have to actually count. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 13, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Uh, 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 on it. Okay. On it. Cheesh. That was so stressful, I didn't know I actually had to count. I thought they were going to count it for me, but I guess I am not so lucky. Bleach. Bleach. I wonder what's in that box. Oh, I can actually look at things. And hold on, I'm going to look at the other thing that was here with the tomato sauce. Never mind, I am not. Okay, there is six bottles of bleach. Six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Hey, hey. No, you can have it. Uh, uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you have something to say about Le Grep Soda? Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. He didn't want anything, Tyler. Oh, what's this? Wait a minute. Yikes, that's unsettling. Yeah, I don't like those either. Trust me. Is that the mangy muskrat? Huh, I guess so. I don't know if that's supposed to be Tom or Michael. But I got it. So that's cool. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. 
And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She's been <laughs> him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Do, yeah, do, do, yep. do. I see it. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I was just thinking about Batista. I don't even know if that's actually his song. I never really watched wrestling as a kid. <laughs> Tired already? Uh, no, I just thought maybe I could get into a thing, but okay. I'm here now. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Oh, wow. You nailed it, right? Ah, uh, there's room for improvement. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man. Yeah, mostly. Kinda. I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get. Hey, listen, I saw that graffiti outside. You can Ice do cold. so much better. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? <laughs> I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Oh. The total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Well, I mean, you did oversleep, so... Alright, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Uh, okay. Okay. You found the box of plushies? Uh, okay. This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. Uh, I... In the back, not too far from the restaurant door. I don't want it. I don't want to. Oh, no. So... Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. One, two, three. Ah, four, five, six. Eh, eight. You've got about eight left Let me leave. Box? Let me leave. Let me leave. Okay. Oh. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch. What the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. My heart! <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. I don't know how to throw. How do I throw? Oh. Ah! Oh, damn it. Uh, uh, uh. Hey ya! <laughs> gotcha. Oh. 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 Come on, is that all you got, Ronan? Ho. Oh. Oh. You just wait. Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh yeah, we'll see. There you. Come on, pop your little fierce out. I got to. Oh, okay. Hello. Say hello to my little Damn, friend. Overshot. Ah, Shiza. Where you go? So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm telling Allison. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Where are you? Are you still hiding? Wait, no. Oh, there you are. Batus! Damn, overshot it. Jai! Oh, am I actually supposed to... Hiya! Hiya! Damn, overshot it. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Throw it. Hiya! Damn, overshot it. Oh, wait, can I... Oh, I can move. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? <laughs> Aren't you guys gonna, like, sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Ah, cool. epic. No harm, no foul. Then. But I hate them. They're creepy. Very creepy. Hiya! Boom! Boom, 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 boom! One more hit. I you're want out. you in my room. Feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Yeah, don't worry. I'm about to. I just need you to poke your head out, and then I got you. You're on the wrong side, you big. Boom, 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 boom. boom. 
no, 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 don't want to see that, no. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, right on good. the schnoz. I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The, the bitch's <laughs> name for the grotto. Couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Boom, 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 boom. Sharp shooter. Heck yeah, won the plushie battle. Heck yeah. Is there a beer? Heck yeah. Oh, hey, see that container? Uh, yeah. It's for you. Oh. Uh -huh. It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Ah! Uh. Grilled it up with my world renowned marinade. Aw, thank you. You're super thoughtful. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, I am. Sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. No. <laughs> okay, okay, so I can't take it. I can just stare at it. Cool. I'll I'll grab it later, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna sit down. There we go. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. <laughs> yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. <laughs> and emotional labor pays shit. Uh, do you ever get lonely here? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. So I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Have you ever been with anyone here? Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, <coughs> but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people but that shit's tricky out here and what about you you ever been with a guy i mean assuming you're into guys which <laughs> i guess i kind of did oh i have to answer uh, i'm still figuring my shit out i pressed the wrong button i've never really been with anybody i guess i was too busy processing trauma or whatever but if i met a guy i was into who knows Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Anyway. Anyway. And I'm done. Wait! No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. What happened? And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor, not our finest hour. It's drugs. Don't do it drugs, kids. I spilled coffee on myself just now, and, um... It still feels like it's damp, but... Is this Chief I don't know. know. Yeah. Are you guys related, or...? Nah, but same clan. What does... What's your clan? Yeah, what does that even mean? Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? I'm gonna pretend yeah, like I understand. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. Um. Uh, look at these pathetic things. So. You think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. <laughs> He'd be the one running the show. Yeah, you ain't. You aren't wrong. Not a big fan of Tessa. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. Ever confronted her? No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? 
Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. Prob it is. You probably should but confront out here, her, though. Just surviving is a form of protest. What about Tom's politics? What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Hmm. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. Um, I mean... So is he a cool is boss? Past, is uh, in the past? Cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. <laughs> milk but he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. Alright. Alright. Let me talk I gotta to you. tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? <laughs> the Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. You're not too bad yourself. No! <laughs> uh, thanks. Nice of you to see. I must stop I mean pressing the wrong I'm glad buttons. Has you back. You're going to be a positive influence for her. I know it. We are not going to let her die a slow death in QuickBooks. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. <laughs> you have no idea how life saving. A chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. You're swell, too. I mean, all my choices so far have led to the assumption that Tyler likes Michael. And also, just saying someone's swell doesn't really mean anything. It's just, it's just nice. Saying we're not looking for the same thing is very presumptuous and um, rude to assume. So, I'm just going to say you're swell too. And I'm looking at the button now. Okay. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> that up. was a different way better compliments choice that. thingy. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I think we've done about Allison. as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, no, it was an hour. Maybe she's just exaggerating. Saying over-exaggerating is already an exaggeration of exaggerating because you can't over-exaggerate if you're already exaggerating. You get what I mean? I just went off on a tangent. And I don't even care. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? 
Nah, feel like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. I understand why it's difficult for Allison. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Yeah, cuz, what, what's the matter? Allison? Where are you? Oh, you're waiting for me to go first. Okay, cool. That's chilled. Um, you know, I forgot after all the happy fun stuff that, um, Allison is actually the one that killed the mother. Hey, graves are back that way. Okay, I don't know what's that way. So, did you ever come back? It down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Hmm. Oh, memory. Why do we have a memory here? Our mother made us come here all the time. Oh, that's why. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. Huh. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean... Most parents are scared of losing their kids. It's a nice sentiment to have. Not about the losing kids thing. That's that's terrible. Um, I'm talking about what Mary Ann said about losing a loved one. <coughs> Mourning those who have journeyed to the other side, celebrating the life and. Just a whole bunch of newsletters. I am not going to go snooping around in a grave. Or oh, areas where they are. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. But Let's check flowers. Around for grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Mm -hmm. No dice. No dice. Or as I like to say, so close but no cigar. No dice. No dice. Look, there's Michael. Where? I don't see him. I just see a tree. Where? Where do you see a Michael? Oh, there. Okay. I'll be with you in a second, Michael. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's your story, not mine. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. 
I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Yeah. Still does. Ben. Short and simple. I like it. Come on. <laughs> There's only a handful left. <laughs> this guy looking through graves. <laughs> Admiring names. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Well, I mean, yep. the fishing pole and stuff. He still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while, his face pops up. That's super weird. Yeah, that's how I feel about Steve Irwin. It's weird seeing him on TV ever, ever so often. Not uh, this one. Not uh, this one. Salazar. I like Salazar. That's a cool name. Now look at me, I'm doing the exact same thing Tyler was doing. Admiring names of dead people. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. I think it means that history can be twisted and what we think happens isn't actually what happens and it's actually a luck on my end. <coughs> Nothing. And it's actually like a mirror image of what we're seeing in the story where what we thought was real isn't actually real. Last year, it was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Tsukskanik. Um. Long time no see. Ah, here we Do go. You want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Yeah, you gotta keep him comfortable company so how are you um is this a bad time with you Catch never damn it don't mind me i'm not really here hey i get to see your ugly mug almost every day you're old news lady <laughs> you wound me deeply <laughs> so can i help you guys out somehow uh what was your uncle like so what was your uncle like Oh boy, where do I start? The big you, you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I think I'm getting the picture. I know what he means like a T-Rex. I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they <clears throat> didn't make him any sweeter than him. Aww. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You were close to your uncle, huh? You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push just buttons without even trying. <laughs> my family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. Ah. Uh... I'll volunteer for taste testing. I always like taste testing. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Ooh, that it's actually sounds that. amazing. Fortune favors the bowl goes double for food. Uh, about this place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. Uh, 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 what about the Klinglet Memorial? What's the story behind the Klinket Memorial? Klinket. May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Uh... I'll stop bugging you. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Uh, where did you say the grave was? Uh, so, we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? Are you serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. 
and they do infrared. So I see everything. Uh, talk to you later. Talk to you later. I was so you worried bet. I was about to press the wrong button. Okay, let's uh, go. So, how are you? Um. Oh, okay. Here we go. Holding up. <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you realize I can hear you, right? <laughs> hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Cover your ears. The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. Okay. To the tree, and then... Right. Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. Well, I better make sure he doesn't get lost. See you, Michael. That was a truck, man. This is nothing. Was it truck, man, or was it this one? Oh wait. Pretty sure this one was uh, here. One. Oh, okay. Uh, this one with the flowers, the fresh flowers. De Leon. That's the one. Hey. <gasps> Don't tell me we missed her. How did we miss it? Hello, Mr. Eagle. <laughs> Kids. It's time. What is... Oh, memory... So oh, yeah. You get a good view. You really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Here we go. Worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. There is a memory somewhere, though. Ah, here it is. Well, only a few steps in, and I'm already starting to regret this. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> Any hope that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Yep, we can. I feel the vibrations. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. 
That was a weird sound. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. Oh. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> all this time, I've been choosing Tyler's memories. As Allison, I was choosing Tyler's memories. Now, I'm saying I think, and Allison is sh is saying is saying is saying she knows. So I'm gonna choose soon, Allison's right? memory just on that. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'll be back soon. All right, promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids, I'm about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. Sorry, you can see me walking around like this. It's because it's so cool that the snow has actual walking physics with footsteps. Ah, that's cool. Okay, cool. Uh, where was I going? What was I doing? Was it up here? No, it wasn't up here. It was... But it, there might be something up here. So let's just go up here and see what is up here. How many more times can I say up here? I don't know. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. But there's eggs. Rest in peace, Snowball. Okay, sorry, Snowball. This spot's familiar. Ugh. Scaled me a little. <sighs> Car of Brown. Oh, Carol Brown, <laughs> not Car of Brown. Man, I forgot how hard Mary and Toby when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four, but yeah. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. I think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know, psycho. Definitely didn't help, but no, it was years later. Oh, there's Tessa at Marianne's grave. Um. Ty. Yep, I see. I'm just. This She's got to be here somewhere. Okay, so now we just... Not this one. Okay, so... Still not the one. I was just looking. I thought maybe I could find a figurine or something, but I guess not. So let us just go inside and confront Mary Ann. I mean, Tessa. Um, and look at Mary Ann's grave. Where is Allison? Oh. Um, sure, I guess I'll go alone. That's fine. No, I want to see your grave before we go. Didn't I? Okay. No dice. No dice. Not hers. Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Where are Where is she? Oh, here you are. Mary Ann Ronan. Allison. Is 
Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. You didn't have to do it all alone. Tessa? Kids, I... I, I wasn't expecting to see... But what are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? I don't think I tried to attack her in a graveyard. When she has flowers. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to... to enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by. And over the years, she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her. And the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. And then I'm you sorry, did. Kids. Oh boy, here comes another choice. You could have done better. You did what you had to. Or you destroyed our family. I mean. You destroyed our family is definitely not an option. You could have done better, or you did what you had to. You did what you had to is. Just give me a second. The thing is, okay, I'm going to say you could have done better, and here's why. She called social services, yes. She, she knew that Mary Ann always paid her debts before October happened, and then something happened. And then she got the kids starting to steal from the store and everything. But it doesn't seem like she spoke to anybody, to Mary Ann specifically, about it. She just called social services to take the kids away. So, I'm going to say you could have done better. You didn't have to do what you did. You could have done better. And I pressed the right button. I get that Mary Ann wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm gonna press the right button this time, because this is an important one. Oh, I can I can talk to Allison. What changed your mind? I thought you couldn't stand her. What happened? She did the only thing she thought she could. I I can relate to that. Mm. Are you sure you want to forgive her? Are you really ready to forgive her? I think she regrets what she did. I think so too. I, I totally understand if you don't want to see her anymore. It's your call. I nearly pressed the wrong button again. I'm done losing people. Jeez. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids. I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Man, everyone's There going to be coconut food. cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. That I'll see you tomorrow, then. Sound we'll be there. really good. I've never had coconut cake before. Okay, we're... That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Rest in I'd peace. pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Yeah, she needed to hear all that. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. <laughs> Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? <laughs> mm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. Yeah, maybe, hey. Um, I'm just gonna finish up here in the cemetery and then I'm gonna end the episode. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. It is quite Takes cool. a little bit of the sting off. Thanks for coming with me. You didn't have to. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. No, you, you stop putting yourself down. We all needed time to heal, but you stop putting yourself down. That is... No. Nothing. 
You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> no. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? No. Nope. Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? Yes, you are right. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. I think I might have just finished chapter two. Unless. Give it a second. Or 20. Maybe a minute. Okay, I'll be back when it's done loading. Okay, it ain't the end. Um, <clears throat> so, that was a heartfelt episode. Nearly made me cry like a little baby. Um, but yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I am going to start learning how to drive soon, so content might not be as consistent as usual, so... Videos will be here and there. I won't be everywhere. Well, it'll be here and there, but I won't be able to do it from Monday through to Friday like I usually do. Uh, so I just want to keep that in mind. And yeah, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.